Hello, this is Distracted Lord, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. And I am going to be doing some science. So, I have the three guns. If we just look here, we have this one, we have this one, we have this one. Down here, that one, that one, and that one. This is the standard one. The standard one just fires one thing. This is the shotgun. The shotgun fires two at once and it spreads them into a bunch of little bits. And this one just goes, ah, and fires loads of them. And we are going to be running some tests on them, to see which one is the best. We start off with my shooting alley here. We just have 200 blocks down to a target. The target is a few blocks thick, just so that if I shoot the same place twice, we get to damage it. And then I will count the blocks it does, and go to 5 or 10 seconds. Well, I install a little fence here with a button on it. And when I shoot the button, the thing will go up, and then we'll be able to start attacking my target down there. So, we're going to start with the standard spud gun. So let's get ready, and I'm going to count stuff afterwards. But, 3, 2, 1, go! Mash clicks button. I'm just mashing the button and trying to shoot the target. Time's up. Now we go count how many shots I got. 36 shots in 10 seconds. That means it's 3.6 shots a second. I don't know whether that's good or bad yet. Actually, wait, I need to fix the target first. Right then, spud gun time. So, a 3, 2, 1, go. As you can see, we are firing more things, but they're not all hitting. And I am just mashing my mouse button. Time's up. Right, let's go and count this. This this looks like a few more, shall we say. 65 in 10 seconds, that's... 6.5 in 1 second. That's about twice as much as the standard spud gun. I thought, I thought it would be better. I didn't think it would be that much better. I think my having seven layers might have been a little optimistic, because so far, no one, well, neither of the two guns has actually managed to get a hit on yellow, but it's been exposed a couple of times, just never actually hit. So, Gatler time. Three. Well, actually, no, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to press the button, and then I'm going to start charging it up, because the charge time for this one is important if a bot comes up behind you. Obviously, you're not going to be able to have it pre-charged, so three, two, one, go. We seem to be firing a lot of spuds. Many of them are missing. I'm not sure whether this one is good. Um, I nearly pressed the button again, but that doesn't look that doesn't look quite as good as the, the shotgun. 61. That's 6.1 a second. That's not quite as good as the shotgun. Nearly there, but not quite. We just need to the next one, which is a 20 block one. I have moved my target a lot closer, it is now right in front of me here, and I just installed some extra lights because there weren't really any pointing at it, so now we should just be able to do the three tests with the three guns, so three, two, one, go. I'm going to try and avoid being in the same place twice because I don't particularly want to accidentally cut through the wall, but I'm just going to keep mashing the button as I shoot out. Hmm, time's up. Counting time. 40. Very similar to what it got on the long target over there. Now it's the shotgun's turn. So, 3, 2, 1, go. I'm seeing pink. We're doing a lot better with... We, did, we got down to... Hang on, this... Oh no, this is going to be such a pain to count because we got through to the pinky layer here. Uh, this is going to be fun. I just have to count it. 19, 120, 121. You know, I think the shotgun's done slightly better. Considering this one got... This, this got 40. This got 121. Hmm. More than three times as much, and now I have to do the painful business of fixing it. If you're wondering why I have a rainbow board with different layers, it's just so I can see the different layers more easily. 
because otherwise when it was like four or five blocks in I can't really tell the difference between four blocks and five blocks so I painted different colours so I can tell the difference. Uh, now it's the Gatler's chance to do really well I hope. Well, three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Let's play shoot all the red bits. That was definitely not as many as the shotgun got. Although we do have a nice hole down the green there. That's not as much. Well, that's only 82 if I've counted correctly, which I probably haven't. That's double what the standard one got, but that the shotgun got another of the standard ones again. So I have a feeling the shotgun has won both of those two. The shotgun, it turns out, does a lot of damage. But also I'm going to look back at this footage and I'm going to see which one used... I can because I can count the amount of shots that they fired and from that I can work out how much ammo they use because the standard one and the Gatler use one shot per sort of sound they make, per proof sound. Whereas the Gatler no not the Gatler, the shotgun fires two. So I can work and from that I can work out how much damage they're doing, well how much ammo they're using per damage. So we're gonna have one for the twenty for the twenty and the two hundred blocks. And then we have more tests to do. Well then, I have the results. And the results are that over 200 blocks, the most damage per second was the shotgun. It did 65 damage, the other ones didn't have as much. Then the 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 comp the weird one with the damage per ammo at 200 blocks was won by the standard because the standard, the standard shotgun, not shotgun, standard spud gun, because every shot it fired, it got a damage for. Whereas a shotgun used, look, well, it got 65 damage but fired 76 ammo, and the Gatler got 61 damage but fired 99 ammo. And then we have the damage per second at 20 blocks, which was won by, guess what, the shotgun. It has significantly more than the other two and then the damage per ammo for 20 blocks was won by the shotgun. It, fought, it did 121 damage and fired 76 shots. Then the standard one managed to get 40 damage when only firing 39 ammo because I have a feeling if you shoot between, if I shoot between the middle of two things I think we can sort of hit both of them in some strange way that I don't entirely understand but apparently it can do that. And the Gatler just just fired fired 91 ammo, got 82 damage. So yeah, the Gatler is so far not doing well. But now we move on to the most important test of them all. Not really. It's the aesthetics test. Which one looks best? And I have just realised I don't have a shadow in first person, but I do in third person. Therefore, proving I do not in fact exist unless I'm looking at myself. But we're going to use the shadow sit for this. So this is the shotgun. This is the standard one. Shotgun. Gatler. And the Gatler would probably win this if it weren't for the fact that it does this. And if you look at the shadow, there seems to be something wrong with my gun. It seems to be flinging itself around rather violently. It does it in first person as well. It, whereas this one goes, this one seems to have recoil. It bounces back. This one just goes and just seems to magically teleport about a bit. But also, I do like the look of this one. It has like the, that dial thing on the side, and if we look there, we have some little numbers on it, like someone's written something on it in what they call those those things that you write numbers in. Kind of what called Gatler. Mm. If we look at them, they're all the same apart from the ending bit. So this one has just a plain red barrel, not that interesting. This one has two of them and that tub thing and all the interesting stuff. This one spins. This one, just just straight up looking at it and not doing anything. Obviously the, the Gatler would just beat the shotgun, but because of the fact that the Gatler does this and f jumps around weirdly, I'm afraid it has to go 
for the shotgun. Also, what you can't see is that another thing that the shotgun has is on the end of it, it has like a sort of grill thing, which looks really cool. The next couple of tests are going to require me going over to survival. We're now over to do my survival test world because I want to look at the prices because you buy them from the trader in his little hideout in survival and we have them here. So, what he wants for this is one of his clones, two oranges and two blueberries. This one wants four broccoli and that one wants five pineapple. You see these are low, these are tier two, I think, crops. So they're not that hard to get. Then those are top tier ones, which are not that easy to get. And then the, the, the spudling gun, or gala as I call it, needs five of them. So the spud shotgun just beats the, the pineapples are also the they're pretty much just the same as broccoli, just you need more of them, even though it's not as good, but that's what we're proving here. But then this requires four tier two crops, so this one is obviously the cheapest, so it wins on that one. The next test, however, I think is the most fun one, so I'm just going to hop in my ridiculously fuel inefficient car here, and we can just accidentally go swimming. That's not quite what I meant to do. Don't worry, this car's waterproof. And I need to go find a farm bot, because the final test is how easily, or how quickly, it can kill a farm bot. So, let's just head off and find one to kill. Oh look, it's a farm bot that I totally didn't just spawn in and I'm so prepared I haven't even bought all three guns with me. So, here we have a standard gun. Right, let's try kill him. So, three, two, one, go! I'm going to count how long it's taking me in afterwards because I can't count at the moment. Hey, stop firing your nasty chemicals at me. Ow! I'm being splashed by nasty chemicals and I don't particularly care because I've got gold mode. Oh look, he's dead. Finally. Took him long enough. Now would you please go away, nasty purple haze. There we go, there's another one. Right. Three, two, one, go. So he's angry at me. He's starting to charge at me. I'm just going to keep shooting at him. And he only gets to hit me twice with that and I can run out of the way. And I'm just going to shoot your head for good measure. Three, two, one, go. And now he's dead. I'm probably going to count it to the point where he goes limp rather than the point that he blows, blows up. Right then, let's check the times. I now have the results for the Flambot test. So the standard gun took 16 and a half seconds, the shotgun took 11.467 seconds, and the Gatler took 15.017 approximately. My extremely exact values are approximate, but as you can tell from that, the shot, the stand and the Gatler were having 16 and 15 seconds each, well, respectively, and the shotgun had 11. So the shotgun was significantly better than each of them, and we'll have the final scores here as well. So the shotgun won, it won five of my seven things. The standard one won two, and the Gatler won nothing. The Gatler is terrible. Even if the Gatler had won on the aesthetics, it still would have come last. So the moral of this is, the Gatler is the most expensive, it is also by far the worst. And the shotgun is the best, unless you want to go around sniping tape bots, unless... Then you probably... Because, you see, the only downside with that, with the, with the shotgun is... Oh no, I want to kill something really far away, oh no, I can't hit it which I can do with this one.
to it. For extreme long distance, I would say, use the standard one. For everything else, use the shotgun. And the Gatler, you should just not use. I hope you liked my extremely scientific science. Like this car. Which is a sick drift machine with a really bar, and it falls over. Right, so, thank you for watching, don't get distracted, go subscribe now, and until next time, use the shotgun, and goodbye.